What is going on with the Safe Moon card? Well, we got some new information and a visual here from the official Safe Moon Twitter account. Before we get into that, I just want to let you know, as usual, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's get right on into the news. Taking a look over at the official Safe Moon Twitter account, they said, we know you've been waiting to get some more details on the Safe Moon card. While we haven't pulled together the video, we have planned just yet. We didn't want to keep you waiting. Please enjoy a first look at the web version of your account management platform. Hashtag SafeMoon. So again, leads off by talking about more details on the SafeMoon card. And there's a video that's on the way. They're still working on that. And then this is just a first look at the web version. So you should expect that there will be a mobile version to come at some point as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this image. Again, this has to do with the Safe Moon card because I do want to take note here. You're going to see on the far right hand side it says Exchange. Does not necessarily mean that it is the Safe Moon exchange itself, as in a centralized exchange. Could just mean a verbiage similar to that of, say, a swap. It would be great if it is exactly with an exchange. I mean, I'm not going to complain about that. Let's be real but more than likely this is associating with something else. All right, so let's go ahead and go through the different elements we can see here. Tabs at the top. You have one that's identified for card and then the other one that's set up for accounts. This is being highlighted, uh, highlighted showing you what's available for the accounts. There's also user settings in the top right. There's a drop down menu of, what, of which you would be able to uh, access some additional things. We can't tell what that is currently. We have an available balance here shows you the percentage increase or decrease of your balance and then what that is equated to this being shown in euros more than likely this is going to be showing uh several different crypto versions uh, i mean sorry several different fiat versions and more than likely you can change those through your user settings so me being here in the united states should be very logical they're going to have an option for dollars don't quote me on that for launch, but it would make sense that they do. Then you can see also the increase in euros for this example over the course of 24 hours. There's also a question mark to where you could be able to find out a little bit more information. You could top this up. So there is a chance to have fiat on ramping. And again, that's where this potential exchange element could come into play. But if you do that, then guys, we're talking about fiat on ramping, off ramping. That's an exchange. That's uh, quite predominantly an exchange that has to deal with a lot of those licenses we were talking about before. The money transmitter license, the money service business license, the UE, the EUE money license. That's a mouthful to say. This also says manage your accounts. So you could technically have more than one account. This very well could be associated with your wallet so if you have more than one safe moon wallet we could very well see that being identified here as more than one account then you can see that it identifies both crypto and that of stable coins there has been hints in the past that safe moon could go down the route of pursuing doing its own stable coin and we also see centralized exchanges coming out with their own stable coins so this is another leading indicator suggesting that the exchange itself, the Safe Moon Exchange, is in the works and is very likely to be delivered. So that gives me more optimism. Coin name, it identifies here, showing an example of Safe Moon. Available balance, shows no balance there in the value of euros. The price is being identified in that of euros. It shows how much it's been increased or decreased more than likely. That's over the course of 24 hours. Now, something else I want to point out to you is notice that in this example, if this is actually taken in real time off of their back end, or maybe it's front end, I should rather say. So it's 37,236. Over here on the left, we have 43,435. So possibly... There's the option to hide certain 
tokens if you don't want that to be visually seen. I don't see an option off of that right here. There are actions based on the uh, top right side to add funds, to send, or to exchange. Possibly if you can click on it, there might be a drop down of additional things. But I think what is more probable here is that of the available balance, 37,236 of that is in the form of SafeMoon. The other roughly, we're looking at uh, 6,200 or so, could be just in straight fiat. So when you go to top up, you can add those fiat and then be able to go and make a swap or an exchange for that of crypto, which would be incredible. All right, so I'm kind of wondering, let me know if you guys are kind of thinking the same thing. What if the website doesn't actually come for the centralized exchange? They just add additional features to the SafeMoon wallet itself, such as what we're kind of seeing here, the ability to have that trading with Fiat, and that becomes your centralized exchange. There's no need to go and create a whole separate website and that kind of process. What do you guys think about that? Let us know in the comments down below. I am curious to get your opinions on that. And I do also wanna let you guys know that I have an NFT project. This is a partnership with several crypto uh, partners. These are, two of them are actually SafeMoon Swap partners. That's Glow Token and Reflex Finance. We're getting ready to launch this here in about a week, July 15th. We have some whitelist spots that are going out from time to time. So you guys keep an eye out on that Twitter account and this does provide passive income for the NFT holders. There's additional utilities, entries into giveaways, lots of fun things. You can get, you guys can go find out more information on that over on the Twitter account. And there's links in the description. So Twitter, Discord, and the website for Team Eco Warriors. Like cryptocurrencies, your DNA is made up of data. And with Self Decode, you can discover more about your personal health. Self Decode can help you improve your mood, optimize your health, balance your gut, improve heart health, reduce stress, reduce inflammation, optimize your cognition, and improve brain health. Their process is very easy. Simply register at the website, read the instruction manual and collect your DNA sample, place the sample into the specimen bag, put the entire box in the return envelope, mail the return envelope back to them, and then wait six to eight weeks for your results. Their website is easy to use, easy to understand, and as someone personally who sits down a lot throughout the course of the day, having resources that are more geared specifically to me that I can optimize my health, oh, it's a huge game changer. You invest into other things and there's no greater investment than yourself. So get started with Self Decode. Check out the link in the description.